Yo, what's good, y'all? Susan here. Hey, man, so today, we're going to talk about Pokemon, bro, because this is one of my childhood things, bro, and I, I want to give it, like, you know, like the, the little introduction, because a lot of these videos I'm making, bro, I'm hoping y'all mess with them, you know what I'm saying? These are just like, a lot of these are rough, bro. I might, add, I might make updated videos once I really dive into, you know, video editing and whatnot, and actually putting together these visuals for y'all because I, I i talk you know i can talk I, i'll talk to them i get a better mic all that but i just want to have visuals and i don't have the visuals right now so y'all just see like a picture and whatnot and i you know i'm not too proud of that but for me to make sure i have everything like on time for the days you know what i'm saying i'm trying to uh, oh i'm trying to uh uh, stay on top of things. I'm trying to just do the minimum that I can do and have it, you know, up front and there for y'all in the times that y'all need it. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, for me to come back and reference it whenever I, you know, update everything. Uh, and yeah, that's what that's basically what I'm trying to do and get at with this. Um, so basically, right now, we're talking about Pokemon, you know what I'm saying? And right now we're heading into the new generation, which is generation nine. And I, I, I'm a little excited, but I, I don't know, man. I don't know what can happen. You know what I'm saying? I, the, uh, the latest game. I haven't played any of the latest games. You know what I'm saying? I watched a lot of content, bro. That's like some of the first like things I've got. Like when I, once I found like the little click and community, it was Pokemon, bro. I know so much about it, but I I low key play it like a little less now than what I usually did before. And basically, all I did was it would be uh what I really got into was Generation Three and all you know Fire Red, uh, Emerald that and that's all i know you know what i'm saying that's like the games that i play you know all the rom hacks and everything can stemmed off from those things so those things to me are like the pinnacle of like pokemon games you know what i'm saying and i haven't been able to get like any of the newer things i wanted a ds before i never got that um i want to switch now i'm um you know i'm hoping by you know uh what's it called what's it called holiday season that i'm able to get a switch so i can possibly play you know the new one but then again i'm not sure about the um how it's going to be or how it's going to play or if i'm going to actually like it you know what i'm saying um what i really have to say about it is i'm interested in seeing the starters and whatnot i'm interested in, in seeing the new pokemon and a lot of what's coming out are, are they're weird looking they're very very weird i feel like i enjoyed uh sword and shield and their designs more so than you know the ones that are coming out now and uh actually not nah. well yeah yeah i haven't seen one where i'm like okay i want this one the, the the one that I'm really focused on is Coridon. I like Coridon over Maridon. So you know what I'm saying I'm one of those. You know I'm, I'm the, you know I like what I like. You know what I'm saying. But then again, yeah, I'm just giving my like you know favorites out of this too because I'm talking about this. You know what I'm saying. Uh, and my favorite mods, my favorite two mods ever. I, I feel like it's so generic, bro. But they're just so cool. But how can you not? How can you not? Um, it's going to be. Uh, Greninja and Lucario and uh, you know a few mods are getting up there I feel like I like Galissapod, Garchomp you know some legendaries Rayquaza, Zekrom you know what I'm saying I, I, I feel like I like you know you know solid Pokemon you know what I'm saying and uh, I'm looking for more I'm hoping I'll find something new oh uh, for last the last starters you know what I'm saying I've been kind of you know going slightly to the grass well basically uh grookey grookey is fire I, I feel like he's the best and then second is you know score bunny um but right now for me bro i feel like i must like sprig of, sprig of tito so, uh, i just hope it's not messed up bro because i we need to see these evolutions bro and if the evolutions are not you know up bro i, I don't know what's gonna happen man because they they look really weird to me they almost feel like you know 
like they're not even supposed to be a part of the series but you know what i'm saying i'm interested in seeing how we get into this and how they're saying it's open world and what can we do you know what i'm saying i may, I may drop on it you know what i'm saying because i'm trying to get a switch and i have so many games i want to play on the switch and you know i'm trying to get a pc and whatnot so i can edit better and make better videos and you know what i'm saying just everything is going to come together this next year this beginning of the next year you know what i'm saying I'm a, everything's gonna be situated and it's just so exciting uh but yeah bro this is it's where i started kind of growing up it was around pokemon and i, I met a lot of you know creators that i look up to now and um and a lot that, you know, fell away because of the situations that happened within that community on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not, you know, so it was, you know what I'm saying? Every, you know, community has its faults. But a lot of these things that happen in this community are aimed at, you know, the audience of what this community is. Because a lot of what this community is in Pokemon is, you know, growing kids and young adults and young adults who are you know mad and then the young adults who you are weird and then the kids that are growing up and looking up to these people and then it's like the weird power dynamic you know what i'm saying and it was sad because so many things that i looked up to before uh there is a dark you know backstory to a lot and you know i'm still following the people that i look up to from these things and i, I appreciate seeing them grow and still moving forward you know what i'm saying but it, it you it still affects them you know what i'm saying and it just hurts that you know what i'm saying being a kid growing up and watching this i had no idea i had no idea and you know what i'm saying i also you know get down on myself for things like that but that's probably another video where it's like um I get down on myself for not seeing these signs, but you know what I'm saying how was I supposed to? Uh, but you know that's not that's that's a different story for another time. You know I'm talking about this childhood thing that's a part of a, a lot of us. You know what I'm saying? And I'm really realizing as becoming an adult, you know what I'm saying we're gonna have gripes and you know certain ways things should be. We should, you know what I'm saying we're we're long time fans and we can see like the difference in what these things bring you know what i'm saying and let's say last thing i really enjoyed that they brought dlc to sword and shield but it felt lackluster you know it felt like i love that you know we can have dlc and it feels like an expansion like of the i, I i've been craving like a Pokemon game where it's like kind of open world and you can like really travel, you know, through the through the uh, through the regions. You know what I'm saying? Just something like that. And you know what I'm saying? I feel like they have the ability to do that. You know, not just that, but I'm just saying make better wild areas, make better encounters and everything. And you know, from what we're seeing with you know Scarlet and Violet Gen Nine hopefully they they uh implement all these things that we're talking about and you know they're they're adding a new thing for competitive i was almost into into the competitive scene but i you know i'm not all the way there yet i'm still i still had to uh you know level things up and you know learn a part of it you know what i'm saying but it's just it's just so crazy learning about all these things about these communities that there's a backside you know what i'm saying but it's also deeply rooted in things we love and you know what i'm saying um for me it was pokemon a lot of things that a lot of people that i still you know follow kind of now are from that you know not community but just they had a similar love for pokemon and i i love to see them branch out i really appreciate that because it's about the person too and it's like okay we share something similar but what else can you do what else do you like you know what i'm saying are you, you why you don't i don't want people to just focus on you know doing this one thing forever you know what i'm saying because it feels like you can feel it where it's like oh dang like there's probably burnout here you can feel it where it is and that's why i know variety is not the best way to go but hey it helps you it helps you in the long run more than just being you know stuck in one thing for a while and even if the, you're stuck in that one thing for a while you'll get success but it's like um, maybe I need to do something else alongside this, you know what I'm saying? Just so it doesn't feel so convoluted. But I just really appreciate how deeply rooted this community is in uh, 
just how much it's been it's always growing it's always different it's always changing you know what i'm saying pokemon cards came back like for however long back back when i was like in a uh, middle school or uh elementary that's when like pokemon cards were popping and like everybody was trying to get them but now like it's like it's a money game now you know what i'm saying and it's like it's crazy bro it's one of the biggest franchises and you can't not deny that you know what i'm saying and I, I just remember i know so much about it and I, I realized a lot of people probably don't understand and don't know you know all the things about you know pokemon like i do but i don't show out a lot you know what i'm saying i know generation one all of generation nine and most people know generation one but you know what i'm saying there's so many other you know differences between that and people don't know but you know what I'm saying? It's just I'm always tapped in with certain things that, you know, I, I appreciate and I like. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know what I'm saying? That, that's just how I am. Uh, but yeah, bro, I, I'm basically just excited to see how it's changing. Hopefully, there's some good mods that come out of this region. Hopefully, it's good gameplay. Uh, but yeah, also the modding. Oh, man. What they made for Billy, uh, the Brilliant Diamond and Pearl remaster, bro. Uh, I remember I was watching some creators talk about it, and they're talking about this the uh, program and, or system software it's made on that can be used for you know ROM hacks and whatnot. I'm I'm excited for that, bro. That's gonna look crazy. We can add like some reborn type thing or like. You know, it's oh, man. I didn't even talk about these others, these ROM hacks and these, you know, these amazing creations made from the template template of this, you know, franchise. Fire, bro! Like you, you can't deny in the fake mind and just the stories people make and how, you know, what I'm saying the uh, the manga, the manga, the anime. Ah, oh, man, it, it goes so deep, and I, I, I know. You know all the other sides, the lore and stuff. Uh, one of my things, though, I I really like Ash, bro. I really like Ash as a character, and not probably his losing part. You know, him, him not growing up. But I just feel like if we had a um, a dark version uh, for Ash, like if he he went through like anime protagonist type things, where you know what I'm saying. Uh, like probably the like red in the manga, right? If we had an Ash story or Ash spinoff with that, I think that'd be fire. I kind of like his design and you know his story. I just feel like it could it could be you know projected to a whole new level. You know what I'm saying? But that's just how I feel. But man, this this is just something from my childhood, bro. And I played so much. I still try to play a lot, bro. Uh, what's this other one? I think it's. Uh, what is it called? Uh, Insurgent? No. It's the it's, the, it's one with Hoopa Unbound, Pokemon Unbound. Oh my goodness! Like, there's so many like good templates and so many good uh, creations uh, from like templates of Gen Three and. And how they add and tie everything together and make stories, new characters, sprite designs, you know, adding all the, you know, uh, uh, behind the scenes stuff like sets and splits and, you know, uh, smooth sets and, uh, and just new things they add to this, you know, concept of uh, training monsters, catching monsters. It's, it's just so... You know, it's, it, it screams to your inner child where it's like, oh man, like this this is crazy. And then I'm I'm gonna talk about the other one, Digi, Digimon. You know, so like, that's a whole other thing too. And it's just, you know, it, it's it's crazy. And I just appreciate having it a part of me. And I had to grow up from I, I grew I grown up from it. Honestly, I still try to get into it and tap into it, but it just it hasn't hit the same really i just kind of support the people i know that we have that similar thing um i'm trying to find something again or try trying to get back into it but i just i feel like i'm craving something from it that i'm probably not gonna get for a long time 
And that's just how, you know, probably a lot of us feel, you know, as growing fans of this series. And a lot of people are older than me and they're seeing this series and they're like, dang, we, we can do so much more with this. And they, you know, it's possible. They know that the way it is, how big this is, it's definitely possible, but it's just not, you know, given to us yet. And you know what I'm saying? It's probably not going to be for some years or maybe not ever. Um, but yeah, this is just a probably another hood, another childhood nostalgia thing where it's just me talking about Pokemon and how it kind of is a big part of my life. And I, I forget to realize like how much I really know and love about Pokemon and, you know, realizing all the other spinoffs of monster hunting and monster catching and how they get good and how they use this same template and you know push it to a different standard push it to a new new level almost it's just really it's really great and you know the knowledge is deep for it you know what i'm saying you start it's it's just really cool and knowing like the years people have done and put into making their own spinoff games and you know the countless other foreign people who make their games you know spanish chinese japanese you know because it is a japanese company overall but just you know the, the amount of you know developers that use the templates and make their own thing they they range range from all over the world and they make good you know good Pokemon games. All right, now I, I know a creator who's make they, they made a Naruto one and it looks really decent, really good. And it's just wow, like this this series can get taken to a whole new height. And we have to rely on developers to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like things are reborn and unbound. Just you know, I feel like those are good. Um, Radical Red, you know, Kaizo. And the, oh my goodness, I didn't even talk about the challenges, bro, where it's like Nuzlocke, you know, making the game a little more difficult, Soul Links, um, uh, Fight to Death, Shiny Hunting. There's so many <laughs> breeding, you know, moves, uh, competitive, um, the other games. The, oh, man, this is a big series, and it, it's. It's not going anywhere for a long time. We're just trying to wait for a good game to come out. And hopefully it's Scarlet and Violet. You know, maybe it's another generation. We, we had to wait and see, but you know, this is still a part of our childhood and this is what grew up with us and we're still gonna love it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, we know we can love something, but want better for it. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how we got. That's how life has to be. We can love somebody, but we don't want we don't want them to stay in the same spot. We want them to elevate. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's how we should feel about Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? And you know, this is just a nostalgia run. Um, Gen three, the best generation. No, no, no cap. I think I love honing. Honestly, I think that's probably my like. I love honing. Like. I, I feel like I spent so much time in Emerald and how many ways it went. I just feel like that's my generation. And it, it, it that's it's a reflection of me. You know what I'm saying? Gen 3 is the best. No count. But yeah, I'm just uh, uh, trying to get into the newer scene. I really want to play... Uh, I want to play Arceus. I didn't even talk about Arceus yet. That look, I think that was like a good... like. Oh, that was It was really good, bro. I, I, that's why I want to get a switch to. I want to get Arceus, man. We we just need things to you know move forward like that. Um, oh, it's really exciting. Like we we can go anywhere with this, and we we want better for this series, man. We love Pokemon. I love Pokemon. Man. I'm not kidding, man. But hey, that's probably gonna be it, man. Gotta catch tomorrow. And with that, <laughs> I'm going to be out. Peace.